next speaker is Ann Rumberger, who's another member of the coalition. Hi, my name is Ann Rumberger, and I'm an activist with Bodies Outside of Unjust Laws. Our right to access abortion care was limited even before Roe was overturned. And now we are in a full-blown crisis as people are being forced to carry unwanted pregnancies and many who want children cannot afford to have them. We are watching women refused emergency abortion care, told to wait until they are closer to death before being treated, forced to undergo C-sections rather than receive necessary abortion care, forced to carry non-viable pregnancies because the fetal anomalies don't qualify for abortion under barbaric state bans, and criminalized for just about every common pregnancy outcome. We're watching trans people denied healthcare and threatened in their schools and communities. It doesn't have to be this way. We have watched LGBTQ people denied basic rights and our reproductive freedom slowly eroded and then quickly curtailed, while the majority of our elected officials have been unwilling to prioritize our right to self-determination. The Democratic Party needs to prove it is the party of working people by taking immediate concrete steps to ensure access to abortion and protection of bodily autonomy for all. Rather than lip service or vague assurances, we need our representatives to treat this like the crisis it is. We need the Hyde Amendment repealed so those on Medicaid have access to care. We need the Comstock Act repealed so conservatives don't use it to ban the mailing of abortion pills. We need free healthcare for all, free daycare, paid family and sick leave, and more economic support for working families. Rather than spending billions of dollars funding genocide in Gaza and a militarized police force at home, we demand investment in our communities and an expansion of our reproductive and economic rights. Access to legal abortion is incredibly popular. Nearly two thirds of American voters support the legal right to abortion in all or most circumstances. And the majority also support universal health care. In this important election year, it's vital that Democrats listen to the priorities of their supporters who are desperate for the protection of their health and safety and the ability to decide the direction of their own lives. For women and those who can become pregnant to be able to fully participate in society and lead the lives they want to lead, we need access to abortion and reproductive health care. We are peacefully marching at the DNC to prove that our demands are just, they are popular, and that we are determined to win them. Thank you.